The debate about how many credit cards a person should have goes back further than YouTube has been around. So to make it simple, I'm gonna break down how many credit cards a person should have to achieve a perfect credit score in three simple steps. What makes up a perfect credit score, how having too many cards could hurt your credit score, and number three, how having many credit cards could get you a perfect credit score even if you have 50 of them, just like this guy. Before we jump into it, you have to understand, achieving perfect credit is way easier than you think, and practically anyone could do it, as long as you could read or write, especially after you watch this video. Because one of the biggest factors, if not the biggest factor, is making sure you're hitting that magic number of credit cards. And if you don't know who I am, my name is Nick, I talk about finance. You've probably seen me on TikTok recently. I had a few videos that did 1 million views overnight, especially the Capital One credit card increase hack. So make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button because everyone else is doing it too. Now, in order to achieve perfect credit, we have to first understand the basic fundamentals of credit. So, without getting too deep into it, Credit is made up of five important factors. Payment history, the amount of credit that you use, which is your credit utilization, the amount of times you've applied for credit, how long you've had those accounts open, and how many different types of account that you have. And I know it may sound confusing, but I promise it'll all make sense by the end of this video. Now, in order to find the perfect number of credit cards to get as close to an 800 credit score as possible, start by understanding some of you may have two cards open some of you may have four cards some of you may have 50 cards just like this guy what I'm about to say is gonna shock you all each and every one of you no matter if you have two cards or 50 cards just like him could achieve a perfect credit score by following the method I'm about to show you and you're probably thinking Nick what the heck are you talking about here's what I mean let's use person number A as an example this person has two cards open. One of their cards may have a limit of $5,000. The second card has a limit of $1,000. And let's say they're not using any of their balance, which is great for their credit utilization, meaning they're not using any of their available credit, which is favorable for their credit score. Now, the key piece that will determine if this person can achieve a perfect credit score is to see how long those credit cards have been open. Now, let's say one has been open for 10 years and the other has been open for five years, which makes their average age of credit 7.5 years, which is pretty good. So, as long as this person isn't running around and applying for every credit card advertisement that they see either on TikTok or on Instagram, then they have a pretty good chance of optimizing their credit score to be very good and even perfect. Now let's look at person number two. This person has four cards open with $10,000 credit limits on each of those cards, which may have been open for 10 years each, meaning their age of credit would be 10 years. And for those cards combined, that's excellent. However, if they're using most of their credit limit, then that would negatively affect their credit utilization, which is one of the major factors that we spoke about that affects your credit score. However, if that same person was using a low amount of their credit, then they can easily achieve a better credit score than person number A because those average age of accounts would contribute higher to person number two because those accounts have been open for a longer amount of time. In the same way, person number two had higher credit limits. So, they could spend the same amount of money as person number A, let's say $2,000, and it would affect them a little bit less because they're using less than their total available credit because they have more available to them specifically. So as you could see, perfect credit could be achieved in many ways, no matter how many credit cards you have, but there's more to it. Those examples only show two of the five factors of credit that can help someone achieve a perfect credit score. So let's look at the rest. Let's say those same two people both applied for the new American Express credit card today and got a high credit limit of $25,000, which helps their amount of available credit. 
but they are now dropping their age of accounts because they're adding this new young account as well as their credit inquiries, which means the amount of times that they applied for credit and equals over 10% of their overall credit score. At the end of the day, the magic number of credit cards isn't really so magic. It just depends on exactly where you stand today. But the good news is if you optimize your five key factors to a perfect credit score accordingly, then you could achieve great credit as well. If you're still struggling to understand credit and finance, be sure to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.